guys, it's Unbelievably Pine here from Team Ascension, back at it again with another video. I'm hoping all y'all having a good day. And if you like my content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let's, without further ado, let's get into the deck profile. Uh, first, because this is a D, you have to, series deck, you have to run your one grid zero on the ride deck, which is Knight of Heavenly Bow base. When rode upon, if you win second, draw a card. Then you have your Knight of Heavenly Sword, fort. When rode upon by Knight of Heavenly Spear, rooks. Reveal two grade threes. Reveal the top card of your deck. Call it if it is a, if it isn't a unit, put it into the drop zone. Next, you run one copy of Knight of Heavenly Spear Rooks. When it's rolled upon by Apex Ruler Bastion, reveal three great threes in your hand and draw one card. And next, you run the Apex himself, Knight, the purest Knight, Apex Ruler Bastion. During your turn, all grade three units get two thousand power. Basically. All your grade 3s are swinging 15Ks. Um, at the end of the battle, when a drive check reveals a grade 3, discard a card from your hand, and choose one of your grade 3s, and you reach the hand, and it gets 10,000 power. Basically, uh, your one of your grade 3s becomes a 25K swinger, basically. So, that's your ride deck. Now, in the main deck, for maximum persona ride potential, we run three copies of Apex Ruler. Bastion, uh, yeah, so three copies of it, it's pretty good. Um, next, for some draw power, we run four copies of Oli. When this unit is placed, counter blast two, so blast one, choose a card from your hand, call it. If the call card is agreed, three, draw two cards. If anyone played Yu-Gi-Oh, you would know this effect as a pot of greed. This is so good because the fact that it is a pot of greed effect with legs, so you get to call a card from your hand that you already is going to probably call because you needed to, and then you draw two cards off of it. Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, and then the second effect is when it attacks, if you have three or more grade threes, this unit gets 5,000 power. So basically, Bastion makes it a, a 15k, then it swings, becomes a 20k. And then it, if you get the trick grade three, it restands as a and then as a thirty k and the swing again as a thirty five. So it's a pretty big number for Bastion. And then if you swing that time, you probably swing the whole column, make a bigger number. So yeah, four copies of all them, nothing less. I wouldn't want nothing less than four. Then next to keep these resources coming, uh, you know we gotta run four copies of Knight of War Damage for Saga. This has a. Immune effect basically cannot be touched by any of your opponent's card effects. And when this unit attacks, if it hits, give me a counter charge and a soul charge. So basically, it's, uh, it's basically on hit pressure. So your opponent has to give you a card, right? Basically one of their resources, or you get resources to keep doing things. So four card piece, because I would never imagine running this less right now because of the resources, the way the resources are. Uh, next, we run the bread and butter of the deck. Four copies of Dark Strain Dragon. Dark Strain Dragon uh, effect is if you have three or more grade threes, Soul Blast two, and call, a, and all grade threes get boost. So basically, this is the bread and butter of the deck. So you turn all your grade threes into boosters, you're swinging 15k columns. Um, so 30k columns, there's 15k attackers, 30k columns. And it basically gives all the units boost, which is pretty good. I'll run it at four. Um, for a defensive option, we run four copies of actual analyst Carcassa. Uh, so, Cocoa Bell is specifically for Apex Ruler Bastion because the fact is, if your Vanguard's Apex Ruler Bastion, this unit gets five thousand power for each grade three unit, two grade three units. So. Counting Guardian Circle also. So, if you throw this on the Guardian Circle, for example, and you have a full field, it's still 15k shield. 2, 4, 6, that's 15. If you throw another grade 3, for example, it'll become a 20k shield, which allows you to make odd number of guards, like 20k shield attacks. Or you can throw two of these and make it 40k. It's pretty good. So, I love this. So, four copies of this specifically. And then I will never imagine dropping this below four. Uh, and for a resource card, and to build resources, we run four copies 
of Knight of Broad Axe, Rafluk. Uh, Rafluk's ability. Put this into the soul and choose a grade three on the board, and it gets 10,000 power rear guard. So uh, the rear guard gets 10,000 power. Basically, this is very good with your card Alden. It allows Alden to be able to swing uh, 30 on the first swing, actually, and then restand 40 and swing 45. So it's pretty good, especially with the combination Baustian. Or it allows your numbers to get even bigger in the column. You could give it to the back or rear guard. It doesn't matter who a grade three you give it to. It's pretty good. So and also helps with the soul. So four copies. Uh, and then for my personal tech and grade threes, I run three copies of Big Snake Witch Sol Solaria. So Bastion has an its effect is when it's discarded from hand during your turn, counter blast, soul blast, and draw a card. Now, this deck, you constantly discard from your hand. Basically, the first three turns you discard from your hand just to get resources to basically ride from the ride deck. And I'm like, dang, so what if I just discard this, use this card to discard instead of using a card from a regular card I need from my hand, and I just counter bless over and get a draw so I get the card back regardless. So, yeah, it could turn into shield or turn into a card that you have to, uh, to your persona ride. Um, and then also off Bastion's skill, because Bastion's skill requires also a discard. Which means you neg one. Uh, you could also break even with this card. It allows you this card really allows you to break even this whole deck, so you don't really neg. So yeah, three copies. Um, and then for our only grade one in the deck, you already know the vibes. You gotta run the PG Dragon. You don't have to run the Dragon, in my opinion. I run the Dragon just because it's the Dragon and it's it, it, it's a it's Bastion. So you wanna run the maximum guard, but. You don't have to run this dragon because I feel as though these are overpriced. Because uh, the you the decks that are high that get to draw a lot of cards, you don't need this because the second effect of just not having you can guard for free. You don't have to discard when you only one have one or less cards in your hand. I feel as though that's not really used in Bastion because you never go to that point because you draw so much cards, you see so many cards, so you're always discarding on the cards really. So you could run if you don't have the money to pay five dollars for a copy of each copy, so twenty dollars for a play set. You could run the one that's ten cent from the trial deck. It wouldn't make a difference. And for the for our triggers, we run four heels. One over trigger. Of course you gotta run this one and give everybody a drive check. And you wanna run usually people don't run this, but I run this you I run three draws because I feel as though it helps you thin the deck. You can take some damage, get a draw. You also can hit this on early turns, get the draw, or draw into it and use a discard fodder. So you have three copies of that. And then we run four cop, not four, but eight crits. Now, some people run fronts in this place, but the reason I don't run fronts is because it's like fronts will make it more stronger and hard hitting, but I want some more hands so, and thin the deck more. So, yeah, I run those. And that's it for basically for Bastion. The deck has, is really much, as you know, if you play the game all the time, the deck, Bastion, is really the hard, one of the heavy hitters of the game. Um, the deck has basically really no weaknesses, but it's one of the it's top tiers, the meta. And yeah, I can't wait till further sets and where some of these cards get power crept out and, you know, got to update the deck more but without further ado i hope everyone have a good day if you did like the video uh like comment and subscribe for more and have a good day guys shadow wolf out